Estimating the number of black bears in Wyoming is difficult, but biologists can determine if a population is growing or declining by tracking the number of females and adult male black bears that are harvested by hunters. The number of females in the population determines the population's potential to grow. One male can impregnate many females, but the number of females in a population limits how many new cubs can be produced. There are several ways to help a hunter distinguish male and female black bears and to selectively hunt mature male bears. Tracks, differences in body size and shape, group size, and certain behavioral characteristics all provide evidence of sex. Adult male bears are usually larger than females. A large male bear often weighs between 2 and 250 pounds, but they can grow to over 300 pounds. Adult females are typically 130 to 150 pounds. Females tend to look smaller and leaner, appearing as long as they are tall, while mature males have more blocky and rectangular bodies. Because they are larger overall, adult male bears usually have larger feet than female bears. Front foot tracks offer the best clues as to whether the bear is male or female. Adult male tracks are usually wider than four and a half inches, but females are usually less than four and a half inches wide. But size alone is not enough to determine if a bear is male or female. Head shape and ears also provide good clues for telling males and females apart. Mature males have rounded heads and thicker necks that appear short. Their ears are shorter and rounded and are set farther apart. Adult males often have a furrow running down the center of their forehead. Meanwhile, females and young male bears usually have thinner necks and snouts and may appear to have longer legs. Females and young males have ears that appear large and set close together. In females, the vulva may be visible if they are in heat. This typically happens in June. Females that are nursing young will have enlarged teats. Cubs may nurse as late as August or September. Female bears also urinate toward the back. Males have a penis sheath and testicles that hang down in front of its hind legs. Unlike females, male bears urinate toward the front. Bears generally do not travel in groups unless they are a female with offspring. A female may be accompanied by cubs, born in the den that year, or the previous year's offspring, or yearlings. In the spring, females may park cubs in secure trees while they forage, so look for tracks of cubs and evidence of nursing before harvesting. Adult bears will sometimes feed close together to share concentrated food sources such as bait at a bait site. When hunting where foods are concentrated, extra care must be taken to determine the age and gender of bears. It will be useful to watch the animals for some period of time and examine their relative sizes and weights and to determine if they are actually traveling with one another or only feeding near one another. It is a good idea to know the height or size of objects at or near a bait site, such as a bait barrel. These can be used to judge the size of bears that approach the site. A group, especially one larger bear with a few smaller ones, is almost certainly a mother and cubs. Females may be more cautious and slow when entering a bait site. Males tend to display less caution. In the spring, bears emerge from their dens from early April through the end of May. Males generally emerge several weeks before females and also wander more than females. Therefore, male bears are most susceptible to harvest in these early weeks of spring. To maximize opportunity to harvest males in the spring, focus efforts in late April or early May if possible. In the fall, bears are in a state of hyperphagia in which they are busy consuming enough food to build adequate fat stores to last them through the winter denning period. They are also more active during daylight hours, making all sex and age classes generally more vulnerable to harvest. 
Hunters should not consider time of year to be a reliable predictor of the sex of bears encountered during the fall months. Bears will generally stop feeding and enter dens in late October through mid-November. However, in years with abundant fall foods, the bears often continue to move and feed for three to four additional weeks and enter dens in mid-November through December. Remember, black bear gender cannot always be determined easily or with certainty while in the field. Taking the time to learn and understand gender-specific black bear physical characteristics and behaviors will help maintain opportunity for Wyoming hunters.